Hey everybody, welcome back to Disco Elysium. Maybe we'll finally get that poor guy out of the tree soon. And we definitely need to get what we wanted to do all of last episode and talk to the guy at the front desk about how the man's dead man's clothes got in the dumpster. Can I help you? Um, yes, you can, Gart. Um, here's your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fugue state. Could someone in your staff have put them there? Or who else has keys to the trash container? The trash collection service? CS Municipal? I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threads that solves itself down the road. He turns to the man. Thank you anyways. Could someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. I mean, let's just not push him to see if he could have done it while sleepwalking. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay, thanks. Um, so about that money I owe you. Uh, how much do I owe again? Yep, a hundred real. I hoped we would get something to be like, hey, can we cut a deal? But, uh, no, there's none of that. So, let's just go ahead and leave. Some of these back rooms I thought we could get into eventually. I guess not. Maybe it's not time. Maybe it was 1,300 hours. So, let's go back. Let's check our... Well, let's load out, and then we'll check our tasks again to see what we need to do. So... Got a blue pen. Oh yeah, we got Kim's pen. Got an empty cassette tape, but what about the tasks? So track down the gun, track down the badge, who put the clothes in the trash. Um, ask Kuno if he knows anything about the victim's trash, or victim's clothes in the trash, okay. Pay for damages, who made the call reporting the crime, keep searching for the caller. This might take some time. Okay, so I like that it's telling me, hey, you can't solve this right now. So that's things that are missing a lot in some other games where you just have to... Left wondering, am I missing something? So let's go back and check out this poor man. I hate to go back to Yukuno because I'm... gonna get demonetized like immediately as soon as I talk to you but that's okay I'm not monetized what anyways yeah I know I let, let's have a chat man let's have a chat Kuno uh, I don't see an option about where's his clothes like do you see have you seen anyone suspicious no, um, let's talk about something else. Let's check the body again, because I don't think there was anything we can interact with, right? I mean, let's, we'll probably throw up. So we we tried to take you know stop holding our nose. We had a very slow or small chance to uh, endure that. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth more instantly and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. No, just just puke. Just do it. Just barf, dude. Get it over with. Uh, 
You feel a great force ringing you from the stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies in your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool, among it distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. I'm... yeah, let's apologize. I'm sorry. It's okay. Happens to everyone. The lieutenant hands you his white handkerchief. Keep it. Okay, thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Um... You think ammonia would help? Okay, where do we get ammonia from? Do you think ammonia would help? If you can handle the headache, some officers use it, use it to deal with cadaverine odor. Uh, okay, well, where do we get ammonia? That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. Super smart, Kim. Super smart. If she doesn't have any, there might be some in the frites. <laughs> I can't trill my teas. Uh, store nearby. Okay, let's leave. Nothing else back here that I can interact with, right? I already checked it out. There's this back door I don't think we looked at before to get back in this back area. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, a turnite. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? 58% chance! Yes! Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of the Eternite, that's why they're too orderly. Okay, let's pull them aside. There it is, you see a shabby little door. Gain experience. What is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Yes, let's. But before we do that, can we come around the side? Can we get back here? We cannot get back there, so we must have to go through the shed. So, let's leave talking to the gardener for a while and check this out. I don't know how we missed this before. I don't know if this is a good place to be or not. Kim's wandering around by himself. Okay. An empty tube of Magnesolum Magnesium sub Supplement. The poster says get out of the way or get effed up. A silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Okay, what do we have to say about the bone yellow powder? Electrochemistry. My good friend. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror, he's studying you. There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use, professionally I mean. Someone is taking narcotics here, perhaps the police should interfere. I wasn't thinking about taking it, I swear. I was thinking about justice. Or, I heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? Um, uh, I mean, we may be a really bad detective. But we're not going to come out and be that shady about it. So let's just, just, hey, I, I noticed some narcotics. Perhaps not, he looks at you. This is our, below our pay grade detective. However, he points to the ladder in the corner. See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use? Cured pig's head, it looks mummified, and a jar over here with 40 cents in it. I'll take it. Okay, Kim. I'll give a quick chat to you and then we'll look at yes. the. Tell me about the case. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. Um, I want to talk about you. You seem to be following me. Let's just, just leave that alone. A magnesium supplement you run on your, rub on your chest to live a happy, magnesium-filled life. Okay, let's check the... This is like taking us so far away the from a, from the gardener with the the smelling salts. Or the ammonium salts. And we're like in a whole new area here. So there's a jacket up on the ledge. That I, 
can't seem to get to. Okay, um, I didn't really want to come over here, but sure. This doorway is going to collapse. Restoration pillars keep the ruins together. There's a bucket. In the bucket is a postcard for the Grand Quran 37. Price is $1.20, so I guess that's something we can just pawn. This postcard depicts an ill-advised residential area overlooking the Jamrock Quarter. Thirteen-story buildings line the hillside like sarcophagi and ominous fog already rising from behind. These are the last boom years. and 39, the project fails ca catastrophically, leaving behind an opiate and hepatitis B infested slum. Oh boy. Take the 90 cents. I'll take that. But before we cl clamber up here, let's check the stuff at our normal level. Like, can we see this stuff, or is that down below? These barrels are half full of rainwater. I guess I can't get to that. Okay, I guess we got to go up top. All right, detective, clamber up here. Get the skills of a mountain goat. I know you can do it. I'm getting so far away from what my objective was, I think. Uh, no Safed, plus one health. I'll take it, sure. It's loud up here. take all the money I can get to pay my my bill at the uh, hotel and so there's a door down that looks like we can go back behind and there's a door over here can we exit the door I guess we can't exit the door that's I would have thought I could just come around the corner and exit the door, but uh, maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. You know, either way. Can I click the jacket from here? Policeman's cloak. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging from the railing here. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on the back. You son of a gun, it's a cop's cloak. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. Well, when you're right, you're right, Kim. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Uh huh. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container yard. That machine is a Kvalsund 1020 HK. Okay, so if we know what it is, we might as well flaunt our knowledge of the Kvalsund 1020 HK. The other things we could do is just yell about how it's such a huge crane. Um, we can talk about how it's just a uh, machine lieutenant, like a giant hammer or a pair of pliers, nothing to see. Or let him have his moment of wonder. So let's just tell him. Yeah, the Kaval Sund. Is it? He looks at you impressed. Ka Kaval Sund makes lots of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. So what do you think our uh, my jacket is doing up here? Or what do you think we're doing up here, I guess I should say. What are we doing? We're awfully close to breaking into the Industrial Harbor. They're bound to have information for us. I thought that was our intention. No, we're just kind of wandering, dude. Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for it? The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it. He looks over the edge at the cold pavement below. Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops. 
whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. Look, we only have a 42% chance, and we've seen our rolls. Yeah, we're not doing that right now. Let's, uh... Let's go back to the gardener. I mean, at this point, I think it's... It seems like it's would be easier to grab it from here, dude. But, you know what? I mean, if you boosted Kim up on your shoulders, he could definitely grab that. There would be no reason to jump from the roof. Alright, let's go talk to the lady about some alu uh, uh, aluminum. Ammonia salts. And then it should be close to... 1300 hours and something happens in the kitchen at that time I thought did we pick some other stuff up um, things we haven't looked at the empty cassette case the blue pen the handkerchief Just inspect the get ammonia Inspect the body hanging in the backyards of the whirling rags. This is a preliminary inspection. You just need to suppress the urge to throw up and approach it. Get ammonia from the gardener or the Fritte store. It'll make it easier. Okay, I gotcha. What do we have in our hands? I don't remember putting something in our hand. Is it the journal? Yeah, the ledger. Okay. I don't know if we need to be carrying that in our hand. Though I think I had this discussion last time about whether it was useful for us or not. Because it was gave you plus two to some things, or plus one to a couple things, and minus two to another thing. Hello again, officer. Hello. Hello, gardener. Um, I need some salts. <coughs> Item gained. Ampule of ammonia. Sure, I'm done with them. She hands... She takes a small capsule out of her breast pocket and hands it to you. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Okay. Thank thank you. Appreciate it. You just give me all kinds of stuff. Now, do I have to actually equip the ampule? I think it tells me right here. A thin glass tube wrapped in cotton netting used to treat fainting spells. Produced by St. Baptiste Pharmaceuticals. Note, this is a quest item. You don't have to equip it to use it. Just having it in your inventory is enough. Dang. The developers of this game... I mean, they just answer all my questions before I even have them. Alright, body. We have a... An 8% chance to do it now. There he is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely desiccated or dedicated to that corpse smell. Admitting it is all it does now. Item lost, ampule of ammonia. You barfed again, dude. Two for two. Congrats. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it in once. The second time, not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. The ammonia didn't help at all. Nor does the wind right now. You feel the lieutenant pat on, pat on your back rhythmically. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You're facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. Why can't I keep it in if I've been a cop my whole life? This is bullshit. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be a cop. Can't we do something else? I think I want to solve something else now. Do it without me. I just can't keep it down. No, like, I should be familiar with this, right? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday is cadaver day. Throw up, investigate, throw up, initial autopsy, throw up, bag it. He pats on your back again. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thingy tight enough. You seem to be fine though, Kim. 
I think I've lost my sense of smell. There's a pause. So we've caught him. I think he's a white lie. He hasn't lost his sense of smell. He just doesn't want to let on that he's stronger than us. There's a weird filter that went over the screen just now. Um, or that actually went away from the screen just now. Um, can you just get him down, Kim? Because I, mean, I just can't. No, this is a two-man assignment. Because it needs two officers to complete. I need your help. He withdraws his hand and looks you in the eye. You need to get your shit together. Okay. Shake your head no. But I don't want to get my shit together. But my shit already is together. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Thought gained. The volumetric shit compressor. We should go talk to locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. You received a thought. When this thought is over, go to your thought cabinet. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought cabinet in the bottom right menu and equip it. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back. Have another go. Um, I don't know if we can because we're currently researching a thought. Oh, this is just uh, orange because we lost the ampule. Okay, I gotcha. Equip and complete the volumetric shit compressor thought to complete the task. Yeah, we've got another three hours to do Long Way Home. I suppose we could stop it, maybe? But I don't know if that... Let's go check some other things around town. Like... There's somebody we can talk to. Did you see anything? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Um, what store is this? Crime, romance, and bi biographies of famous people? The bookshop? Uh, hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Um, what kind of store is this? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books postcards and some board games it's called crime romance and biographies of famous people i noticed that on the the window good uh good advertisement there books postcards easy even a kid would know all of this little girl i know a book what a book is books are like very long letters with stories inside them Nah, i feel it's inappropriate to lecture this girl don't be a fool as an expert, it's your duty to tell what you know to everyone. Don't tell me what to do. Sir, are you okay? You've been standing here silently for a while now. Um, I don't know if I'm okay, honestly, but uh, is it okay if I ask you some questions? Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. Yeah, sure. It's really not about books, but that's the only options I think I have. What's your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mom, her name is... Plaisance? Plaisance? She owns the store. She's inside mining the register or, or organizing the stock. The girl gazes at the window, then suddenly jolts her eyes wide as if recalling something. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. Are you standing out here in, and you're standing out here in the cold because... I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. I should have a word with the store owner, maybe. Uh, such a good trooper you are, already learning the value of a hard work. Pat her on the head. I would be okay with that, except for the patting on the head. Not really keen on patting strange children on the head especially when I've been digging through the trash and I've just vomited a couple times <laughs> I could help by brutally dismantling the free market we go full-on communist uh, no let's I could talk with the store owner oh no no sir I'm happy to help uh, mom by, by luring customers besides I have some hot juice in my vacuum bottle to keep warm what is this crime business 
Crime fiction is about murderers or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch criminals. Wait, not crime fiction. I need to know what crime is. Now you're just being silly. Why would anyone want to read about crime? Okay, I get it. Crime murder gets the people going. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle, too. You can guess who the criminal is or how the good guys are going to catch him. I'm a policeman myself, by the way. You don't look much like a policeman. Okay, then what does a cop look like? Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. She points to a book cover on which you see a strapping vespertine officer. He stands grimly over the body of a dead woman. I used to be exactly like that Mullen guy. Then I decided to live a little. You know, nobody actually looks like the guy in the picture. That's just a stupid fantasy of a man. It's not your body that's important in police work anyway. It's your point to your head. Wow, look at that guy. I'll never be as good as Mullen. No, let's just be like, no, it's, it's all in here. It's the mental job. She agrees with us. Yes, it's all in our head. <laughs> and then uh, some one of our internal monologues have to correct us and say, no, it's the mind, not the head. But come on, reaction speed. Not head, child. Heads. Um, no. Not multiple heads. There's only one head. I don't care how many... Uh, personalities I have in there. Flexibility. There are millions of different people out there and you have to get into their heads. Sometimes you got to be the killer to catch the killer. A quicksilver mind. This Mullen guy looks like he needs four hours just to come up with a single idea. So I, I mean I guess that makes sense now that you're talking about your head and the killer's head. I guess maybe that is two heads. Whatever. Isn't that very dangerous? Policemen live and breathe danger little girl. Mullen obviously lacks the Chameleonic skill. Level up! Unlike you, sir, she smiles mischievously. He's just a fictional character. He's no match for you. Okay. 58% chance. Okay, I'm going to do something now. Oh, we're so bad at these! Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. You failed to deduce anything substantial. I'm a detective. I do deduce that you are a girl. I'm a detective. I deduce that you are very small. Actually, I'm sorry. I can't deduce anything. Oh no, our morale is critical. Damaged morale. Okay, bye. See you later. Hey, so we've been monitoring you internally, and now we know your copa type. Wait, there are copa types? Yes. Guess what's yours? Cool cop? I'm some sort of weapon cop? Sorry cop? I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I'm sorry you had to monitor me. Um, pretty sure we're the sorry cop. Yes. Sorry, cop. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it official then, shall we? Okay, okay, but what are the other copa types? Um, won't the other copa types be jealous? I'm sorry. <laughs> so we just be like, yep, we're the sorry cop. You know, actually, I'm not sorry. I changed my mind. I'm not sorry. No, you don't. You'll be back to saying sorry in two minutes. Stop wasting time and begin the repentance. The Repentance? Um, what are the other copa types? Oh, you know, Apocalypse, Superstellar, The Advanced Interesting Cop, Liquid Shadow Cop, but you're too sorry to say those things. So, here we go. Won't the other copa types be jealous? What, jealous of the sorry cop? I don't think, I think they'll be fine, don't worry. They'll be super duper fine. It'll be totally okay. 
You can dual copper type from sorry to anything. Okay. We're the sorry cop. We're going straight Canadian. Here we go. Of course you are. It's okay. See if you can get something out of this. Like info. Or maybe every time you say you're sorry you get a million bucks. That won't happen. Okay, we auto-saved. We do have a level up, but I'm not sure what I want to put it on yet, so I don't want to... I think I'm going to hold off on spending it. We gained rigorous, rigorous self-critique. Temporary research bonus is minus one to authority. Embarrassment to the party. Research time six hours. I mean... We have this one that's only 30 minutes... Which we have to do. But we're halfway done with this one. Maybe we shouldn't... But the problem is I don't know if it will... Pause. Or actually, can we internalize more than one? Hey, we might be able to. So, we should have done that. Um, so... That's odd. So, okay, so so I get it. It's it's chaining them. So once this one's done, it'll do this one. And then once that one's done... Do we want the bow collector? Minus one to authority. Minus one to hand-eye coordination. So that's... That's something about our ex-wife. The white morning. Minus one to authority. You see yourself from above. You're passed out on the blue tiles of the hostel room floor. Even from this distance, you can see your eyelids flutter at the mention of what? A great white object letting out its sweet smell like a lily of the valley. The little man's forgotten its name, but he still remembers the feeling. And look, he moves. The feeling animates him. He, indistinct he instinctively reaches out for the feeling's best friend. A bottle of Commodore Red. He puts on his disco clothes and gets smaller and smaller. I mean, I guess there's no reason to do that right now because we can't internalize more than one thing at a time. What is this mess? Um, yeah, that, I think we need to just... Anything else we can do while we're wasting time till 11 o'clock? Talk to this person, I guess, maybe? Or investigate this little spot for some reason. Some great tectonic force has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. The damage looks like it has been caused by an earthquake. I mean, we can just look at the bench. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm, we can sit on the bench after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Okay. So I saw a guy over there, but what about this person right here? I am a Tommy Lahom. I, like I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer, feel like a traveler. The man mutters to himself, accenting the beats as he goes. A simple little cadence, he seems to be making it up as he goes. Let's just keep listening. Don't interrupt him. From another planet. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? What's going on here? It's the jam, my man. It's the jam indeed, my dude. The air from the east is thick with the smell of crude oils, heavy metals, and other byproducts of the modern era. You can almost taste it. What's the jam? The traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates of the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, and all around cluster fuck. Got it. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. Now that sounds like it sucks, dude. Not gonna lie. Um Limbo, huh? That's where I am. Uh how long you been here? Like how many days? Feels near forever. 
Like I was born on this here roundabout, and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Uh, mazout? That's some kind of fuel? Mazout is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. Or he likes unusual words. Or both. I dig your style, man. Extravagantly phrased. But I can roll with it. I don't quite understand what you said. Could you say it again only a little less plottingly? No, let's just roll. But not the one that says we can roll. Let's just really roll. I dig your style, man. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. He snickers, an appreciation of the digging of his style. So tell me, what do you need? Care to spare some change for a working stiff? Tell me more about this strike. You know anything about the dead man? The one hanging behind the hostel there? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really been uh, really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keeping busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Busy with what? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological condition of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. And your conclusion? From your analysis? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Uh... Well, tell me, tell me about the strike. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks, workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. Going on strike would probably help you dodge a bullet or two. Maybe I should go on strike. What's the union demanding? Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like, a giant new power crane and half the company. I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk that there's a company rep in town, too. Like a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah, uh, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, what do you think the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. He makes a ka-ching sound. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side, that's for sure. Maybe I should go on strike. Maybe you should. Cops don't get paid much and the hours are long. Plus you can get shot. Why not? The RCM is a self-managing organization that operates on donations. We promote our own leaders. It would be like striking against your own mother. I don't know my mother, but I'd go on strike against her too for my rights. Hmm, I guess you got a point there. No, your mother. Um, we, we, we're gonna try to keep the, the the peace here. No reason to get Kim upset. He's been doing some good work for us. Got a point there, Kim. Anything else I should know? Anything else, he thinks. Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. All of who? The drivers, I'm assuming? Us lorry drivers. Camionneurs? A few still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Yeah, but you're still here, dude. Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. He glances down the road toward the horizon, a glint of something in his eyes. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him, as if trying to conceal something warm and deep beneath a cool exterior. Oh, very low. Um... Our empathy is just awful. So what are you hauling anyway? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Tommy, you're all right. Relax, he's merely joking. You're under arrest. 
Wicked. I always wanted a friend in the underworld. Okay, and what are you actually hauling? Nah, let's... We got a good rapport going on with Mr. Tommy here. I always wanted a friend in the underworld. Ha, no, I'm joking, my man. F-A-L-N runs a nice, clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods, you know, track suits and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grodd and the Occident. Though, we've been making headway in the Ilmarin market lately. Hard words. Um, so nothing illegal then? That's your machine behind you? Can I get one of those F-A-L-N track suits you're hauling? I mean, why would we need a tracksuit? We got this fine disco outfit. And that's your machine? This rockin' beauty? Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy duty cargo machinery? Here's where our encyclopedic knowledge comes in. A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up, enough to be uh, some sort of FALN rust bucket, maybe the A6. That's a FALN A6 you got there. Yeah, those lorries are pretty neat. Interesting, not really. I've just been asked. I just asked because, I don't know, it must be cop reflex. No, it's, a, it's an A6, dude. Totally an A6. Good eye, my man. Yep, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. Can I get one of those track suits? I'm gonna ask for it, even though we got this sweet disco suit. We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. So you're not carrying anything illegal then, huh? Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while I was on the road. I mean, we're not gonna try the 8% chance. There's just no need for that. I'm good for now. Good talk, my man. Don't be a stranger. Like, why are you orange? Oh, it's because I used the uh, morale healing. Well, let's head back in. I think at 1300, the kitchen opened up. Something opened up at 1300, right? Yeah, the kitchen opened up. So, I guess that's what we'll do in next episode, because that seems like a pretty good stopping point. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again next time.